Wagwan, motherfuckers. Oh, God. I mean, I know starting a video is, you try and do different stuff, but let's agree, I think we can all agree, that that should never be done again. First things first, I should start by saying a massive thank you to everyone who watched and shared and said nice things with the last video. It is by far the best video we've done, so thank you very much. I don't know if this bullshit is going to live up to the hype again, but fuck it, we're here to give it a go. I was this close to doing a video on Gordon Ramsay, but then I've quickly realised it would be this for 50 minutes. <laughs> He's angry, isn't he? I've never seen someone so angry over a quiche before. Calm down, Gordon. So I was thinking last year I did two videos that were both featured like on this morning. Uh, a tattooed teacher and the woman that was shagging ghosts. And you know what? Those videos were nice. I kind of liked the rapport I had with Philip and Holly. So I went back to this morning just in like the desperate hope that I'd find something a little bit interesting. Also, I should say now, um, I have had a couple of messages from people saying that I uh, swear too much. Mainly my parents, to be honest. But uh, I'm just here to say I'm going to do my best in this video to not swear. Okay? So we'd all like to know what this year has in store. Perhaps we're about to find out. Oh, this is going to be good. Hagen Potts is you? an astrologer to the stars. And not only can he tell Derma and I what the universe says about our future, he's going to take your calls a little bit later too. Oh, fuck off. Oh, so this is shit, isn't it? Derma O'Leary and fucking Alison Hammond. That's B team. Where's Ollie and Philip? That's what I wanted. Tell you what, though, Billy Conley's looking good, isn't he? Oh, it's good. so lovely to meet you. You've been doing this for like 15 years now. How did it all begin? Uh, longer than that, Alison. <laughs> about 40 years. Thank you for suggesting I'm 35 years old. I really... <laughs> well, you look it. You look great. <laughs> See the laugh O'Leary did there. <laughs> that's just so forced, isn't it? I mean, that's what years of working on the X Factor will do to a man. Kill him behind the eyes. <laughs> My father was an astrologer. And uh, he, he tutored me from the age of 14. And it's just been a journey, literally, for the last 40 years. And I fuse Eastern and Western astrology and enables me to define characters and dynamics and the future and what's going to transpire etc okay i am feeling quite a strong urge to take the piss out of that guy now so i'm just gonna say disclaimer if you are watching this and you believe in astrology and you listen to this guy and you think i actually believe this before i go any further it's important to me that you know i don't judge you all right there's no arm in it you're not hurting anyone. If you believe in this bollocks, good for you. I do not judge. And the reason I say that is because, uh, yeah, I might, I, might, I might start to judge in a sec. <laughs> in a sec. It basically means that I take Western astrology, like in your case, uh, Dermot, we can use you as an example if you don't yeah, mind. I'm you're already, a, I'm cold sweating. <laughs> you're a Gemini and you're born in 1973. So Gemini, Gosh. we're all familiar with. Western astrology, but what 1973 is a water ox. Okay, I'm a Gemini water ox. <laughs> what? Because I was born in sometime in the 70s. What, is, what, is, what does that mean? Is that it means that you're, the Gemini side of you is like a really intelligent, uh, but kind of chill character. The Gemini is curious about, has a very agile mind. The water ox, which is what it, which is what you are, Gemini water ox, is super zen. It's Mr. Chill. So what you have is really like an intellectual, a zen intellectual. It's kind of how I would define you, Dermot. Otherwise known as basic shit you would like to hear. <laughs> I mean, it is the winner. It is just bollocks that you would want to hear. If someone said to me, oh, Gaff, you're a Pisces fire rhino. And what that means is you're really intelligent, really funny, really smart, really likable, really easy to talk to, really handsome, really fucking hilarious great bearded guy i'm obviously gonna go oh well i like this astrology malarkey because it seems to think pretty highly of me <laughs> if someone if an astrologer that ever said to me gareth you are a pisces fire dragon i'd go oh am i tell you what you are you're full of shit mate is what you are uh, you uh Addison, you're interesting because you're a you're an aquarian wood tiger right and an aquarian is get you're very lucky being an aquarian because they are the most naturally intelligent female Okay, they've got the most agile, versatile brain. Oh, Egan, keep it in your pants, you perv. Him and Alison are floating away like mad. It's a good thing they're doing this over Zoom, otherwise they'd be fucking taking each other's clothes off. Oh, Hayden, tell me what I am. Oh, you're a Libra fire dragon. Come on. Also, Alison, you've just entered on January the 1st, 
the luckiest year of a nine year cycle. So you should be here really? happy. <laughs> See, I believe this. And it's very scientific as well. So you don't believe this. I, I wouldn't really say don't I believe don't it. believe it, but I mean, do you ever give people bad news? <laughs> Alison's here just looking at the crew going, oh, 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 is anyone else getting good bumps? Because this is bang on. What's he said that's scientific? All he's done so far is going, oh, you're a woodlouse. That means you're this. Oh, you're a water ox. That means you're this. Oh, you're a tiger dragon. This is what that means this. He hasn't said anything scientific at all. He's just said mad shit that sounds great because it's nice. And you've went, oh, please be true. And you know what, Hagen? Big chance for you here, mate. If you answer this question well, I might start to come on board. Uh, no, I do. Well, funny enough, I do. But fucking hell, I didn't know. Uh, well, uh, weird, so funny enough. I, it's weird. Yeah, I, I, do, I do. I do. It's it's one of those things, but it's it's never really bad news, David, because life is cyclical. Every sentient being has a life cycle, including us human beings. So even if we come into a dip, it's always followed by a positive. Is it? Some people have it really, really shit, Hagen, and uh, I think telling them this is a good thing yeah that means certain goods always are in the corner could maybe maybe be a bit insensitive hagen i will i will say that hagen i'll challenge you on that sir because i don't think you could go up to a homeless guy and go up hey cheer up lad there's a winner in the corner because you've just walked into your best year of luck in your nine year luck cycle have a good one son and so i'm able to say to somebody for example look Focus on this year, you've got to consolidate because it's not a bad year, it's just luck isn't on your side. Oh, knob off. It's a shit year. It's not a bad year. It's just a year to consolidate, to reflect. Sod off, Hagen. It's a fucking guffer. It's the worst guffer I've had, mate. Can we just call a spade a spade and say this year has been shit? Can we do that, Hagen? We don't have to go, oh, it's a year to consolidate and to reflect. It's fucking shite. I've barely left the house, Hagen. Louise, are you there? Yes, I am. So tell us your situation at the moment then. Well, I put an offer in on a property uh, back in September last year and yeah. it was accepted, <gasps> but nothing's happened since. Oh. So what's happening? <laughs> Hagen, well, what's wow. going on? <laughs> That's a curveball. Hagen, sort this out. Uh, How the fuck is he supposed to know? Take it up with fucking purple bricks or Remax. It's their job. It's not fucking Hagen's. Hi, hi Louise. Louise <laughs> is, uh, is a Scorpio fire monkey. <laughs> they just get better and better. I thought we peaked at Water Ox. Scorp what was it? Scorpio fire monkey. I've been feeling lost and just a total crisis of self. And I just, I just don't know who I am, Hagen. I want to know who you are, Gareth. You're a fucking Pisces fire monkey, motherfucker. Thanks, Hagen. I really needed to hear that today. Now you go into that world and you be a fucking fire monkey. I will. I will. I'll be a fire monkey. Right, and you guys don't know it, but Louise is one hell of a character. It's an incredibly strong character, is Louise. Really resilient, great fun, but very, very sensible. Yes, one hell of a character. Paul Gascoigne was one hell of a character, wasn't he? Louise is probably just fine. She's trying to buy a house. How much of a character do you have to be if you're phoning up this morning for your property advice? That's not a character. That's someone that's not got any control of anything. Oh, fuck. I've had, I've had my wits end. I don't know what to do. I can barely make a choice for myself here. I'm just, fuck it. Put it. Phone Alison Hammond. See what she says. Fuck it. Can't be great fun and really sensible, as I've learned to my own cost. I'd always be the one at parties when actually, I don't know if this is good, this, you know. I don't know if I actually would be Raj Bance if I jumped off a bridge. I think I might die. So the choice is, you can buy a house this year, not next year, not 2022. That's the year of consolidation and not doing anything risky. 2023 is an amazing year. Now, because you're a Scorpio fire monkey, the Scorpio is say, saying, well, maybe I should wait. The fire monkey's going, come on, Louise, do let's do it. Fuck, fucking classic fire monkey, man. Come on, let's do it. Let's get moving. Did you not hear the astrologer? It's a year of consolidation. Now shut your fucking mouth, fire monkey. Uh, Natalie's on the line. Um, you were born 27th for the first 74. Is that right, Natalie? Hi, uh, yeah. What do you yeah. want to know from our lovely Hagen? Okay, come on, Natalie. Ask him a good question here because the last question is, you know, my house. It's irrelevant. not really his job to figure that out for you. So come on, Natalie. Come on. I'm with you. Let's ask him a good, sensible question. Come on, Natalie. Uh, 
Uh, will I find love, please? Jesus, keep it, keep it light, love. Please tell me I'll find love. He will. Don't worry about that. If I know Egan, which I think I do, I think he's a Scorpio snow baboon, and he will tell you what you want to hear. Don't you worry about that. One thing, uh, Natalie, and it's quite interesting, you're exactly the same combination as Alison Hammond. You're an Aquarian wow. wood tiger. Shit, the bed. We got another Aquarius wood tiger. Rawr. So... What we've already learned about them, they're fun social party goers uh, who are also incredibly professional or some bollocks. So you have no problem meeting new people because you're a party animal. It can't be that because he said you're a fucking party beast, I think he called you. A party beast. So what I've done for you is I've put together every single year in every single star sign that you should be looking for because these characters will love you for Natalie. No compromise. You can just be Natalie. Go on, Megan, go on. Yeah. Who, who am I looking for? 1978, which is the year of the Earth Horse. 1976, which is the year of the Fire Dragon. 1970, which is the year of the Metal Dog. 1969, the year of the Earth Rooster. 1966, and make a note, Alison, I mean. this is magic. These are 100% 1966, 100% and 1964. And we're and four, a little bit and four star signs, guys. Oh, you know what? You know what? I was knowing it down. I was knowing it down. It's got, it's got fucking chaos. It's got chaos. What I got down, and this is where I call 78 Earth Horse, 76 Fire Dragon, 70 Metal Dog, 69 Earth Rooster, and then 66, and then he said, it's about 64, and then he was like, and then four, he's bringing star signs into it. It's, it got too mental for me. So if you say, for example, Natalie, you met somebody in 1966, and they were one of those four star signs, that's 100%. The moment they meet you, they will fall in love. Okay, no it isn't though. No it isn't though. No, it's not 100%. So if you're one of those star signs and you were born in 1966, are you gonna 100% from the moment they meet you, fall in love with you? Bollocks. What if they're there with their fucking wife? Just another year of happy marriage. <laughs> oh, bad luck love. There's an Aquarius with tigers just walked in. Or even there. Poor Natalie's going to be straight onto Plenty of Fish, just putting in, I'm looking for these four star signs and only someone that was born in 1966. One guy will get back and it'll be some old cunt called Brian and it'll be a mad racist, but she'll be there going, well, no, it has to be him. He loves me for me. Right, so thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because that notifies you when I've done another one of these silly little bastards. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Unless you're a fire monkey. Consolidate. Reflect. It's a day of reflecting.